Well, growing up, I struggled in school. A lot of the standard topics that were being taught in school just unfortunately would not capture my attention as much as I wanted them to. But I remember when things started to turn around for me and it was when I had my first real art teachers in high school. They both worked professionally outside of school as well and they were the first ones to really show me that there could be a profession in the art world whereas everybody else was just kind of saying ah you know you're gonna have to get a real job but it wasn't until sophomore year in college that I actually had the courage to change course as with many things of in life uh, it isn't until you fail that you succeed or in other words you have to die to be reborn and it was that sophomore year in college when I had just bombed an accounting cl class, a test, and I'd studied really hard for it and everything, but I just totally blew it. I, I turned on my favorite feel-good movie at the time, uh, the 3D animation, Finding Nemo. And I was sitting there and I looked over at this pile of sketchbooks sitting on my desk that I kind of wander off to when I'm bored. But I said, you know, why can't I do what these guys are doing? And soon after, I went hunting for art schools with my dad and just to see what it would look like. And I saw what they were doing with the 3D animation and the game design and the architecture. And I was like, this is it, this is my place. So right out of school, I ended up working on Disney's G-Force uh, and continued on after that to work on some of my favorite movies and games to date. So coming back and seeing that spark in my students' eyes now, when they realize that they can chase after what they love. And um, it's, it's become probably one of the most rewarding experiences in my life, with the exception maybe of working on my first Disney film.